Uh, we had 42 Celsius degrees, a lot of days, and the soil is bone dry. And I was wondering, will my lavender survive? Because I don't have any water over here, any drip irrigation or something like that. Only what's uh, coming from up from the clouds, from the sky, only that type of water. So I was a little bit worried because uh, when somebody is buying lavender from me, I always tell them, look, if your lavender is well established, if it doesn't rain one year, uh, one, one month, sorry, if it doesn't rain one month, then you should uh, water it. And it's very easy for, uh, for me to say that and to tell everybody that, but it's a different uh, thing when you experiment this. So we had one month without water and now we are in the middle of the September. I was a little bit of afraid, I was a little bit worried that my lavender wouldn't survive because it's a thing to say one month without water, but it's different when, when you say one month without water and 42 Celsius degrees. So let me show you how the plants are looking right now, okay? So as you can see, my worries <laughs> are in vain because the lavender is doing very very well look at this we even had a little bit of growth so these plants were harvested in uh, june in the middle of june the plant is 10 years old right now but still they are looking good because i'm pruning them so uh yeah i think this kind of answers the question of how much time can the lavender stay without water so even the small lavenders that we have on the other part of the farm they still survive and they are still looking very well so yeah guys uh, one month without water and the lavender rocks <laughs> and still and still put some little growth so this plant is uh, yeah I really love lavender and I really enjoy growing it because uh, it's very easy and imagine that I have probably uh, 1,000 plants over here and uh, it's not that easy to keep an eye on every single one of them but uh, yeah they didn't let me down so this type of lavender this is a Bulgarian one it's called Sevastopolis and it's uh, doing really well and I have a lot of other plants uh, as you can see in my clips I have Imperial Gem, Grosso, my head, I have a lot of uh, angustifolias and they all did well. So uh, probably tomorrow I'm going to start uh, pruning the lavenders for uh, preparing them uh, for winter, okay? So if you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comment section below. Uh, I'm going to make a separate video about uh, spacing between the lavenders, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh, we are going to do this uh, in the fall because I have I have a lot of work now to do, and uh, yeah, give it a like if you if you think the clip uh, is really helpful. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please post them on, on the comment section below. Uh, share the clip, and until next time, stay safe and grow plants. See you guys. Bye bye.